People ask me why I like to homestead. I think most of them are asking themselves that they'd like to do it. I'd recommend they ask themselves four questions. The first question they should ask themselves is why. Why get up before the sun does? Why have animals that need to be fed and watered every day? Why live so far from town? Why put yourself out? Why be so stubborn and do it all yourself? Refuse the handouts. Why spend your time honing your God-given skills and becoming better prepared for anything that could come your way? Why spend so much time in the garden, so much time canning and freezing and dehydrating? Why practice firing a weapon? Why study the Constitution? Why go to church? Why study the gospel? Why care about what happened 2,000 years ago? That's the first question you can ask yourself is why. The second question you can ask yourself is a good answer to the first question, but the second question is why not? Why not get up early and see how much you can get done? Why not see how many animals you can raise and care for? Why not see how much you can achieve, how much you can learn? Why not see how much food one person can grow and preserve and put away for the future? Why not live a life of freedom and liberty? Enjoy the ability to make your own choices. Why not see what it says in the most popular book of all time in all the world? Why not learn from the wisdom of others so that you aren't doomed to make the same mistakes over and over? Why not? The third question you should ask yourself is, why not you? You've got the brains. You can make decisions. You can study the plan. You can change your life. You can grow immensely in the next few years. You can set the goals. You can get it done. You can make your dreams come true. You can take care of yourself and your family and be happy. You can learn how to do it all, all by yourself and be proud. Why not you? The last question to ask yourself of the four questions tonight is why not now? There's never been a better time. So take to the country now and escape the pollution, escape the violence, escape the overpopulated cities. Take your family where they can still have a sense of community, where you'll feel safe and free, a place where the water is still safe to drink and the kids can play outside until the sun goes down. Take this dream and breathe into it your own personal spirit never let it go and enjoy your homestead. I crafted this video after a Jim Rohn speech. He's had a huge influence on my life. One of the things I'll never forget he said was, if you don't like where you live, move. You're not a tree. <laughs>